If you want to continue to follow our adventure, click subscribe. So you don't miss anything, click the bell notification. Well, I was recently uh, hosted by a YouTube channel called Camo Dave. And, uh, you know, he's got some pretty good content. Just as a uh, shout out to Camo Dave, uh, you might want to give him a, a look see and see if you like his channel. As a result of being called out, I have learned that there are many people who think that I'm crazy. And I would have to agree with them. I mean, it, it's interesting how they, how they do this. They say I'm crazy because I do X, Y, Z. But then when I tell you that what I do is crazy, then they say the same people will say, well, he's negative. So it's kind of a hypocrisy type of thing. Anyway, I thought I would go through some of the things that make me crazy. And uh, because I am, I am crazy. I mean, if you think about this, you are coming here to watch a nomadic channel of a guy who lives in a car because you have this dream that living in a car is a good idea. <clears throat> but then say, it's crazy that he lives in a car. So uh, I thought I would explain some of my craziness and just lay it out on the table that I am crazy. First of all, uh, it is absolutely insane that I save so much money. You know, I've talked many, many times how I think it's very important that you have a huge emergency fund. And I say tens of thousands of dollars. But it's, it's kind of insane to have that kind of much, that much money, especially when, you know, Carolyn has a sick daughter. You need to go spend that money right away to go and live in a $10,000 apartment. This is what I was told that you, uh, I need to get an apartment and spend, you know, $10,000 of those tens of thousands of dollars because right now I need to be thinking about Carolyn's daughter. Well, first of all, I have not tried to get into in, involved in, in discussing that part of our life. I had to tell you that Carolyn's daughter is sick and why we're in Missouri, because so many people question why I'm in Missouri in the winter. I'm trying to be honest with you, but I'm not going to give you all the details. But it is crazy that I'm not going to go and live in an apartment, because if I go and live in an apartment, I got to spend all that money, which would end this lifestyle. I mean, we just wouldn't have enough safety net, I, do, I think, to continue on if I decided to go spend that money. You got to remember that we've already been through two emergencies. We came back here last year to help Beck get back and forth to the hospital. And then we had the pop-up camper fire. If we just continue to spend our emergency fund, we are going to be out of money and the lifestyle will be over. I am trying to make sure that I have enough money to replace this truck and have a significant buffer. But if I spend the buffer, then I, I don't have a safety net. We want to continue on the lifestyle after, you know, Carolyn's daughter passes. Carolyn's daughter has even expressed that she thinks it's important that we continue on with our lives after she passes. That's why I haven't went and spent a bunch of money to go live in an apartment. It is crazy that we live in a little wooden box. Yes, you are watching a nomadic channel of a crazy guy living in a nomadic box, dreaming of living in a box of some sort. A van, small trailer, a car. I mean, there's lots of people who are, who are dreaming to do this. I was in the Navy and I was on a submarine. They do all kinds of tests to make sure that you can mentally handle being on a submarine. Growing up, I really enjoyed being in small places. I would much prefer being in a little clubhouse, treehouse, than in the house, running around screaming. I enjoyed small places. I would enjoy going, s sitting in a closet with a flashlight, reading a book or playing a game or anything, something like that. I enjoyed my enclosed spaces. Is that crazy? Absolutely it's crazy. I completely agree it's crazy. I agree that it's uh, crazy that I can take and I did this the other day. I took all everything I own out of the truck. I wanted to clean the truck and get it all ventilated out and cleaned up. And so I took everything we own out of the camper. Everything. Mattresses, refrigerator right here, pots and pans, silverware, everything. It took me a half hour. Now the last time I moved, which was you know quite sane, I had to move the sanity of the whole thing. Uh, took me two, three, two or three days to get everything moved out. Lots of trips, lots of hard work, getting all my furniture out, getting the refrigerator out, 
you know, packing everything up, making sure everything didn't break, having such few things in a minimalistic lifestyle, it's absolutely insane. Because when the pop-up camper burned down, you know, I lost everything we owned. But imagine having a house burned down and you lose everything you own. So, I mean, yeah, it's, it's quite crazy to, to not have anything. And then when you lose everything, you don't really lose that much. So I, I get the craziness there. It is crazy how I forced Carolyn to live this lifestyle. I mean, apparently, I mean, I've just done everything. Knocked her out, drug her out, beat her up, done everything. Just bring her into this lifestyle. She is going to do this lifestyle. What is even crazier is when you learn that Carolyn, this was Carolyn's idea. She wanted to live this lifestyle. The original plan was when I quit my job was to for me to start a small engine repair business. Uh, I was going to make YouTube videos even. But Carolyn wanted to get off her anti-anxiety medicine. Prior to that, she was an alcoholic and she quit drinking all by herself. But when she quit drinking, her anxiety got really bad. So the doctors gave her anti-anxiety medicine. So in her mind, she didn't really give up drinking. She just replaced drinking with some other you know, form of narcotic. She wanted to get off of it. But in order to do that, she was going to have to adjust her lifestyle. And the way she wanted to adjust her lifestyle was to get away from society which is what makes her anxious. She has social anxiety. Doing it this way, she has learned a lot better how to deal with society. Because now she can take in society in small little bites. And when she needs to get away, we can get back out to the forest and it's okay. But you know, she can integrate in right now. She's you know dealing with nurses and, and doctors and hospice and all that with, with her daughter. And she's doing quite well. Two years ago, Without medication, she would not have been able to handle this at all. It is quite crazy that I drug her out here so she could get better. I, I, I totally get it. And I recognize that I was trying to play a little bit in the tongue-in-cheek and make a sarcastic video here. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Like if you like the video. And happy travels.